I don't know what we will. That's not a game. That's a game. This is a movie. This is okay. How much was it? 962. 962. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's up with Ford. Yeah, that's... Like, uh, I don't know what the hell that does. It's some kind of magnifying thing for itself. Yeah. That's got screen damage on it, too. I mean, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Yeah. If you want it, you want it. If you don't, you want it. I know I can get it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know where the case is for this. This is... Unless this goes... I saw one of Hawks at Red Rash. Maybe... Yeah, that looks good. I guess that one's fairly old. I don't know. Yeah, that's the it's first older, model Sigma. Older than that one. Maybe sure I is. Alrighty, we good. Couple controllers, some kind of funky ass. I don't know what the hell. I guess you probably know what that does. <laughs> Alrighty, we're squared away. Let's see. There's 50. Right. I appreciate, appreciate it, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Thank you.
Okay, folks, got a package in today, and this comes from Philip. Him and I did a trade through Ring Beans Discord server. If you haven't checked out that server, I highly recommend it. Very awesome place to meet and talk and chat with other collectors and uh, buy, sell, and trade, as, as well as just, uh, you know, get involved with the community. But let's go ahead and dive on in and see what came in the mail today. One of these games was the, if I'm not mistaken, the very first release from a, ga a, a game company I've already bought from, but I did not pick up their first release. So, we've got a game in here. This was a game I needed for the N64 collection. We got Cruising World. Very good condition there. Uh, oh. Well, it's got property of Hollywood video. I did not know that. But that's all right. I can change out the back at least. The front looks great. But yeah, I can change out the back on that. Did not know it was engraved like that though. And FIFA Soccer 64. In good condition. And then the game that was first released. Oh, there's another game in here too, I forgot about. Was The Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human on PS4. And this comes from Hard Copy Games. I did pick up their their second uh, release, which was uh, Lit Spear. And that was recently shown in a previous video. But this was their very first release, and I believe this is the variant cover for for that release. So very happy to add that and then he contacted me originally about uh, this game um, watched my video and he's like hey man I got a copy of Mega Man 3 so in the last video from Sunday I say that I was wanting to trade Mega Man 2 for Mega Man 3 and that kept, that came through very nice copy there very nice label the back has a little uh, little label damage there but that can easily be changed out as long as the front's good and then one last game and this is a, another N64 game I needed for the collection and that is All-Star Baseball 2000 little peel in the label there I could take a glue stick and probably get that label to stay down not you know too worried about those the game's like a two dollar game but there you have it folks uh mr philip i appreciate the trade i hope you are happy with your end as well and folks on to the next okay youtube so it's been a while since i have shown face uh but we've got a rather large package in today so figured i'd do this face to face this comes to me from Mr. Steven. Him and I have done trades recently. And I had a lot of NES games that he wanted. He sent me some pics of some stuff I definitely wanted from him. And a brand new console for me. One that I've never found in the wild. One that uh, I've never owned ever in my entire life. So I'm very excited to add this to the collection. So hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will slowly get into this package. Uh, it is boxed, double boxed, so it's kind of an awkward packaging here. And of course I still don't have a box cutter. Uh, there's not only a console but there is a... Uh, there's something else in here for
got to be kidding me. And we've got a box from Mario Party. Wow, you've got to be kidding me. Steven, I'll, I'll give you a I'll, I'll hit you up here in just a few. There you have it, folks. Looks like it got damaged in shipping. Because it was not like this in the pictures. On to the next. you do three for all of it? Dollar each? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine? Alright, I'll pick that up. And it falls. Nah, I'm good. Alright, we're good. You got change? Awesome, thank you. How much are your Blu rays? I'm sorry. How much are your Blu rays? Three. Would you do two for five? Yes. All right. Okay, YouTube, not a bad haul for the week. Found some pretty good stuff and got in a couple of trays. So we'll go ahead and start from the back. 
picked up a $50 lot that consisted of the Sega Genesis controller, six complete in box games, and two that were not complete. Um, it also came with a complete N64 console with controller, all the cables. Uh, it came with Game Boy Pocket with a bad screen. However, it does work. Uh, the volume, contrast, everything works great on it. Just has a bad screen. I've already gone ahead and listed that for parts. Don't really feel like bothering with it. Um, and it came with Trimmer Pack and Pac-Man Pac Collection on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, Mad Cats, um, Game Boy Light, Pipe Dream on the Game Boy. And then we got Miss Pac-Man, Sonic Spinball, Sonic Hed uh, the Hedgehog 2, King of the Monsters, that was the breadwinner of the games. Road Rash 2, Loose, and then we got Desert, what was that, Desert Strike, RBI Baseball 4, and then NBA Jam and X-Men are just case and manual only. Um, I've gone ahead and sold the N64, I actually sold it on Facebook for $50 plus $14 shipping, medium priority mail. It's heading to Florida. Someone from Orlando hit me up and said, Hey, uh, will you ship this? I said, Yeah, sure. $50 plus shipping. They were like, That's fine. So, ended up selling that on Facebook. Found a couple of Vita games in the wild. I'm always happy to find Vita games. Found these at the pawn shop. Someone traded me uh, Mega Man 3 for my copy of Mega Man 2. So, someone did pull through from uh, last week's video. And I also got from them the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. This is uh, from Hard Copy Games, their very first release. And this is the variant cover. And then I picked up three N64 games I needed from them. Cruising World, FIFA 64, and All-Star Baseball 2000. Found a few movies uh, at the thrift stores and pawn shops. We got Dick Tracy, uh, the 20th anniversary Devin Max special edition of Stephen King's Children of the Corn. Very awesome. I've never found this in the wild. And then uh, Koopa Chronicles, found that at Goodwill. Um, at the yard sales today, not much to be found at all. Uh, found Sword Art Online, Lost Song, Disc Only, uh, with Spaceballs on Blu-ray for $2.50 each. Got both of them for 5 bucks. so I'll sell that, list that on eBay, try to sell it Disc Only. Maybe make a dollar or two extra and uh, keep Spaceballs for free. Jump Force I found at the pawn shop, which was fantastic. Uh, I was able to uh, put this on Instagram and trade it very quickly with another guy that has already messaged me before. Um, and I knew that he had Dungeon Explorer on the Turbo Graphics. He's nothing but a reseller. He does not collect. So uh, he actually contacted me and said, hey, I'll trade you uh, the Dungeon Explorer for that Jump Force. I said, done. Anytime you can trade modern for retro, especially turbo graphics, do it because modern will lose value, turbo graphics will not. Uh, found Prince of Persia, Rival Swords, the 3DS case here, and the memory card at a yard sale today for three bucks. Um, picked up Lost, the sixth season, the final season, on Blu ray. Uh, pick this up when you can. This still sells for anywhere between $25 to $30 pre-owned. Uh, everyone wants this copy of, uh, everyone wants the, the last season. Found two copies of DuckTales uh, sealed, brand new, in Jacksonville at Walmart. They were just sitting there in the clearance bin, and I was, I knew that they were there because I had checked BrickSeek and um, searched for them while I was in Jacksonville and picked up those two copies. Got a trade-in for, uh, or with the Mario Party box only. It's a very good condition Mario Party box. Penguin Land, uh, missing the, the cover art. Great Baseball, Monopoly, and the Sega Master System. It did show up, arrive, a little busted, but it's all right. It did not affect the power switch, and it still works. Steven that did this trade with me, I contacted him, let him know what happened, and he said he'll make it right. So, there you have it, folks. There is the haul for the week. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications every time I upload new content. I hope you have had a fantastic week. Oh, before I forget, I also found this Game Boy case with the lot, and this is a rather uncommon neon orange. I've seen these sell for about 20 bucks. But there you have it. 
go ahead and hit that bell icon so you receive all, all notifications. And folks, I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.